everyone! After I started watching a new show on HBO called Julie, I really got inspired to make some French recipes. If you haven't seen the show yet, I highly recommend it. Julia's signature dish is called Coco One, or chicken braised in one. Compared to beef bourguignon, which I have made a few weeks ago, this dish is a lot less time consuming and more approachable, especially for a beginner cook. Normally, on my channel I feature quick and easy recipes, made in instant pot or air fryer, to speed up preparation time. In this video, I have decided to compare Instant Pot to a more traditional cooking method in Dutch oven, side by side, to see the difference in cooking time, taste and flavor. So by the end of this video, you will learn how to make an amazing cocoa oven in Instant Pot as well as a Dutch oven and impress your family and friends with an art of French cooking. In addition, I will simplify the original recipe and break it into the easy steps to make it more approachable for beginners. Trust me, we will not sacrifice the taste of this amazing dish. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my weekly cooking inspirations. You can find a list of ingredients in the description of this video. As you can see, I have two even piles of ingredients here. One for instant pot and another one for Dutch oven to make it fair comparison. Ok, let's get cooking. Ok, step number one. I'm starting with pre-cutting all the ingredients. Chop onions, peel and cut carrots into 1 inch pieces. Minced garlic. Now peel pearl onions. I end up buying the fresh pearl onions. To peel them, you need to boil the water. Place onions in the boiling water for 10 seconds, pull them out and rinse with cold water. Cut the root side and press on the skin. It's a very easy way to peel it. I'm a big fan of pearl onions, so I'm using quite a bit more as the original recipe requires. As Julie once said, it's hard to imagine civilization without onions. Get the bacon ready. Just kidding. We need to pre-cut bacon into one and a half inch slices. As you can see, everything is fair. I'm using the same amount of ingredients for both instant pot and Dutch oven methods. Step number two. Let's get instant pot ready. Put bacon in a cold instant pot and start instant pot on saute. Pro tip: always put bacon on the cold pan. It will allow fat to slowly melt and not burn. Cook bacon until crispy. Remember to stir in the pot. When bacon is crispy, take it out from the pan using the slotted spoon. Leave the bacon fat inside. We will use it to cook chicken and egg. Now season chicken with salt and pepper and cook until brown on both sides. Don't overcrowd the pot. Do it in two batches. When ready, remove chicken to the pot. For Dutch oven, I will follow the same process of cooking bacon and browning chicken on both sides. I do like the searing in Dutch oven better than instant pot. It is a bit faster and the skin looks crispy. Alright, step number 3. Instant pot. Now add chopped onions and carrots to the pan and cook until onions is translucent. Cook for about 6 to 7 minutes. Then add garlic and mushrooms and cook for 2 more minutes. Now add tomato paste and cook for another minute. Now we can add pearl onions, thyme bundles, covered up with a wine, brandy and chicken stock. I'm using my favorite French wine, but you can use any red wine of your choice. And finally, layer the chicken inside the instant pot, close the lid, set on high manual pressure for 8 minutes and wait for natural root. Dutch oven. In the meanwhile, I'm following almost the same process with Dutch oven. Except I have decided to cook mushrooms on a separate skillet with oil and then add pearl onions to cook them as well. Since I'm not cooking under pressure, I wanted to make sure that pearl onions and mushrooms will cook through. Then I follow the same process of cooking onions, carrots, garlic and tomato paste in the Dutch oven. Cover it up with a wine, bread and chicken stuff. 
Layer the chicken on top, along with the thyme, bundle and let it simmer on medium, low heat for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is enough to cook the chicken through, but if you want the full of the bone meat, you can simmer it for up to 1 hour on low heat. All in all, cooking this dish in the Eastern Pot versus Dutch oven takes about the same time. Eastern Pot is a bit easier as I cook everything in the same pot at once. If I were to slow cook lamb or beef, Eastern Pot would be a much faster alternative. But for the chicken, it takes about the same time. Step number 4. Instant Pot Wait for natural pressure release. Remove chicken and vegetables to the serving plate. Sauce looks a bit watery. Now we need to make it look like a gravy by adding puree mani, which is a combination of one quarter stick of melted butter with two tablespoons of flour. Don't be afraid of butter. Julia famously said, with enough butter, anything is good. Mix it well with the sauce, add bacon and set instant pot to saute mode. In about 7 minutes, your sauce will thicken to desired texture. Remember to add salt and pepper if needed, then add chicken back in and it's ready. Alternatively, you can sprinkle bacon on top of your final dish instead. Dutch oven. After 30 minutes of simmering, take out chicken, add butter mix, mushrooms, onions and bacon. Simmer for about 5 minutes or until sauce thickens. Add chicken back in and it's ready. And finally, tasting. I did a blind tasting. My wife is a bit of a food connoisseur, so I figured it would be a fairly accurate opinion. My wife, you After blind it. tasting both versions, she felt that texture better. and flavor are very okay. similar in both plates. Same. Eastern Same. pot Same. was a bit less salty. After fixing the salt issue, we settled that both versions taste very similar. Onions and mushrooms look slightly better in Dutch oven since I cooked them separately. Overall, coca one turned out really good. So all in all, use either method. They both do it and take about the same time for this particular recipe. I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video on Julius onion soup in Instant Pot versus Dutch oven. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.